is in the interest of our country, Ghana. I believe in Ghana. With what is going on in Parliament, it's not good for the country. I have advised my colleagues from the good, the other side that look, assuming you win the incoming election, would you get to test of Parliament to take decisions? And they all said no. So I said, well, if you are saying that Professor Michael Quinn set a precedence and you are using that to take a position as you have done, then what happens if you win election and you don't get to test? Do you expect MPP also to help for us to rule this country? That is my fear for Ghana. Whatever is going on, if we don't put an end to it and we politicize issues, Ghana, I'm telling you, in 2025, you see worse things in parliament. Because whoever wins and whoever loses will not cooperate. Then what will be the fate of our country? That is my major concern. Of late, I've not been speaking, but it's absurd to see grown-ups, members of parliament, you know, behaving the way we are behaving. It's simple. You know, for peace sake, how many weeks left for the country to go through all what is going through? Don't think it's only MPP. It's Ghana going through these challenges. The way things are going, I believe that next month is going to be Christmas. And workers are not even going to have their salary because parliament we have to approve. So media, you know, I decided not to talk, but what I saw at the conference center when I was coming, I've been treating you, I'm pleading with you to be very objective. You see, taking entrenched position to support a political party will not help this country. And if you know the power of the media, if you do your work well, the respect you earn, I'm begging you, you are jeopardizing your positions in society because of the way some of you politicize issues and it won't help this country. We all want to move forward. I personally don't care whoever wins. So long as we have a peaceful country that you can breed. I've been to war-torn countries and I know the sufferings some people are going through. That is why I don't preach for war. If not, I would have also encouraged whatever going on. I want to be the faith of the country. Today, I shouted at my young man because he asked me a question, why are you running away? You know, how can I run away? Let me tell you what actually happened this morning, which the leader did not address. You saw me in going to the, I even entered the chamber. We were at a caucus meeting. So we took a decision that, look, can go with the leadership, engage the speaker and the NDC people, then we go in. Because we heard they are sitting on our side, which is the right-hand side of the speaker. So go and engage the speaker. Unfortunately, when we got there, they were sitting. That is why we returned, not that I was running away. And we couldn't stop the proceedings. So it's not deliberate that MPP refused. We needed to engage the speaker. I'm not the leadership. I'm not one of them. But they respect my opinion. And I know speaker is my friend before I even came to parliament. He was my company lawyer. So I give him that respect. 
And sometimes I go to him and share ideas. So they say this time, go to your mom. Unfortunately, our caucus meeting took so long. And there was no TV there for us to see that they were sitting. So, young man, I was not running away. We were coming to consult the speaker and the minority group before we go in there. And unfortunately, when we went there, he was sitting. And we had to walk away. Now, the question is, where NDC was sitting? Where did you want me to go and sit? Where? Do you want me to go and pull my chair mm -hmm. from my colleague from the other side? No. We don't want that December, uh, January 7th, 2017, uh, 2021, what transpired at the chamber to continue to be a president. No. So peacefully, I just worked out with deputy majority leader and the two whips. We want peace to prevail. So please, you are the mad peace of this country. Whatever you do, if you do it right, it will benefit the country. You go wrong, the whole country will be doomed. Will be doomed. So don't let us politicize issues. Be objective, pragmatic, and first, you should all love this country. Look, six weeks or two weeks, uh, two months ago, Burkina, they lined people doing whatever they call trenches, and 600 of them, they shot them. Is that what we need in this country? Because of somebody's power, nobody, whether you're MPP, NDC, any political party, who push me to go and take arms. It won't work. We have nowhere to go, only Ghana. So you should, you should be mindful of whatever you are going to say. There's politics where politicians, uh, uh, journalists have taken trench and politicians have taken trench. It won't help us. So I'm begging you. What actually happened today it was not deliberate that we were boycotting, but we wanted to get understanding from the speaker. So we were at the caucus meeting, and maybe I would admit that it took so long. But that is even allowed in parliamentary culture. I engaged Honorable Abuja <clears throat> and told the minister, oh, then you made a mistake. You should have informed the speaker that you were at the caucus meeting. The speaker didn't do, which I cannot defend because I'm not part of the leadership. And I'm sure he, he's right. I'm sure if my leaders have informed the speaker that we're holding a meeting and we'll be back, definitely he would have waited. So, you know, Ken, it was the onus was also on the so-called majority leaders to inform the speaker, where are your colleagues? And he will tell them they are in caucus. They want to tell her that nobody knew that we were having a caucus meeting. Well, he can be a Pimenides and sit on the fence because even if he knows, and once there's no official communication, I can pretend I didn't know. That one day, I can pretend that I didn't know. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem. I've, I've posed that question because I entered the chamber and I saw... So I saw NDC occupying <laughs> MPP seats. So I just had to leave. I told the leader and the leadership, the two whips and deputy majority leader that we should go back. And even that, you won't believe it, my lawyer, another lawyer of mine, Honorable Andi Apiakubi. Honorable Andi Apiakubi is my lawyer. But we nearly fought <laughs> over there. <laughs> you know, so, but that's the game of politics. But we don't want you to fund it, fund it, fund it. Because when there's a problem, don't think you hold a camera and you'll be saved. All of us.
So young man, I was not running away. I wanted peace. As for running away, it's not in my vocabulary. No, 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 no. But when you are growing, then you know. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. That's all, I all right, no problem. No, 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 no problem. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to save the situation. So. <laughs> no problem. No problem. <laughs> That's <laughs>